robotic equipment provides a major step forward in smart crime fighting. Last year, over 30,000 DNA samples were outsourced at a cost of $400,000. Also, what took 90 days for outsourcing now takes 30 days in-house. This is a much more user environmentally friendly process and I can process roughly four times the number of samples. A smaller robot in the drug chemistry section tests for narcotics. It can run overnight, it can run over the weekend, when you're not here, anything. So this really does speed things up. Saving both time and money. Another unit in the new lab is the questioning document section. Oh, this is an example of a, a sample check that would come in um, that would be in question. Forensic scientists are looking for forgeries and document tampering. Our TY is completely gone and our zero was made out of a comma. What this shows us is that we have two different inks that were used to create the document. In the past, the latent print section worked only with fingerprints. Now we do have the, the palm print database. We can enter that in just as we would a fingerprint and possibly get some uh, potential suspects that way. According to the Ohio Attorney General, all these services are provided to local agencies at no cost. And as police and sheriff's offices continue to fight crime with tight budgets, the new lab should be able to help them win convictions. In London, Rick Reitzel, NBC4. So from these three pictures, it goes into the it goes into the database and it searches.